I had because I didn't know how to be assertive. No one ever teaches. I never was never like taught. There's no like rule book given to me in life in early life. Like this is how you be assertive. This is how you uh, stand up for yourself. It was more like, hey, you should stand up for yourself. But it was never like how to do it. You know, I need to know how to do it. And then when I started studying psychology and got into all that stuff, mostly in grad school, and actually, it was actually really started with philosophy that you can state your opinion and you can state your disagreement with someone else in a constructive way. I learned that was the first time I really learned how to do that, I guess. And that was when I realized, okay, so I can disagree with someone and I can use philosophy to word it and phrase it to where it will be less likely to lead to conflicts and arguments and where it doesn't come off the wrong way. So I think that was always my fear before is just disagreeing with someone and coming off the wrong way. Like we reprimand assertiveness as and and we put it in the sector as like a negative aspect of life right like oh like you have to treat them well not be assertive but it's almost like we we associate assertiveness with like brutality or uh we associate it with like be coming off too strong like you said and and so i think that there's a lot of negative connotations to the word that sometimes we feel like it's not it's not a, a community uh, aspect word, right? Uh, like doesn't drive unity in a sense. I, I, I found in my personal life to, to feel the opposite, right? I, I think that assertiveness in the contrary, if not done correctly or not done at all, can lead to a lot of resentment and a lot of disunity because one starts having um, resentment towards others which leads to, to anger, which leads to fights, which leads to division. Um, and so I, I think I've, I found in, in, in my personal life and, and just, you know, in my community that whenever one is not assertive, you know, it can lead to, to, uh, to other things, right, that, that can bring this unity. So almost to say that assertiveness in a way is, is kind of telling the world what you what you want so that you can continue to function properly if people want to take what's left over and i don't have any more energy then i'm going to feel resentment because i'm like hey like i can't give any more like and they want to take my my last bit of, of energy well hey i'm going to fight for this yeah and so what you've been describing there with the uh, resentment is passivity and so there's three different types and i think this is why a lot of people find it hard to be assertive because they don't really know what being assertive really means you hear it all the time like hey you should be more assertive but the, like my confusion was well what do you mean by that what, what does that actually look like you have passivity you have assertiveness in the middle and then you have a aggression so passivity like you said leads to resentment because you let people walk all over you um and you never stand up for what you want and that does build resentment over time and then you have aggression on the other far end where you're always asserting what you, you're always aggressively asserting what you want and telling people what you want with anger, uh, with uh, a mean, like a negative tone, I guess you could say. And you're not you're wording it in ways that are, are hurting other people, you know, verbally or whatever. And so you can get a negative reputation from being too aggressive all the time. And then with passivity, you can get resentment. So you're losing on either side of that of that you know, line there. But assertiveness is the ideal because you're winning because you're getting what you want. You're not getting a bad reputation and because you're not being too aggressive, but then you're not letting people, you know, you know, you're not always letting people step over you kind of with passivity. So, so it's finding that balance, I think, is what people struggle yeah. with the most. Yeah. I mean, and, and the question, the, the million dollar question is like, well, how do you, find that balance like what what does that look like in the real world i think if we have some visual representations of what that looks like that 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 would be helpful just because i think sometimes people have not seen what that really not not only do they know not know what it means they have never seen it expressed in anyone else they don't have a visual representation of what it means to be um correctly assertive 
it's about body language. And as communication studies majors, we know that body language is the most important. It's a huge part of communication. It's about vocal tone. It's about eye contact. It's about body posture. So like passivity is you just like this, like talking in a low voice, like I really want to do this. And you're avoiding eye contact. I'm not making eye contact. Like, man, you know, I really wanted that raise. And we talked about it last week and you gave it to the other person. You know, like you're not going to get very far with your boss if you do it like that. But if you're like making eye contact, you're like, hey, you know, we talked last week about me getting a raise. And I noticed that the other person here just started, got a raise instead. And I was just wondering what changed. Like that's a perfect, that right there, what I just did. That's a perfect example of assertive communication aggressive if you do that aggressive you're like hey you know last week you said you're going to give this person a raise why didn't you give me one i deserve a raise i've been here for such a long time and this and this and that so you see yeah. the difference yeah it's almost like like you said the tone and how you you carry yourself can really uh change the how the message is perceived by other people right because i think uh sometimes we think like oh like well i because I've, I've heard a lot of people and, you know, I have some family members that do this as well, but they said like, well, you know, I told them the truth and that's, and, and I tell them like, yes, you, you said the truth, you stated the truth. However, the message didn't get carried across the same way because you said it like this, that just carries across in the wrong way. All right. And I think that's like communication. Uh, I'm starting to realize is very uh, closely associated with being assertive, right? Like being a good communicator is also being assertive. As assertiveness can have so many negative connotations. Is that is that something you found? Because I know you worked with clients before. Do they have just a wrong association of what it means to be assertive, or they yeah. or they do they fully know just that they can't uh, enact it in their life? I think it can be both depending on the situation, but to what you're saying, uh, with assertiveness, whether it has negative connotations, I think that's why I brought up the three different levels of passivity, of aggression, and, and assertiveness, because that I think that's why people maybe associate assertiveness with a negative connotation because they don't really know. They I think some people think assertiveness is aggression or they're just not sure how to do it, or they've never even really heard of it. So I think, I think people think that standing up for themselves, they imagine this aggressive person and they're like, I don't want to be this way and I don't want to come off the wrong way and start a conflict. So I think maybe that's, that's where- Like out of fear, right? They're yeah. coming from a state of fear.